setting colors on your cabinets is very simple to do. It's just you need to click on Add Wall, click OK, put up any unit here, and you'll notice, like I was explaining in the Group uh, Help section, you see where it says Group 1? That's the color group it's using. When we go up to Change, we go to Set Colors, you'll notice there's your Group 1 cabinet. Now, this color palette, once again, we can add this to this color. We could redden it up a little bit, which is these four sections here. Now, whenever I click on any of these four sections here, notice down in the Quick Help section, it says adds more red to chosen color. Four choices, 5%, 10, 25, or 75. This right here adds 5% more red. That adds 25, or 10, excuse me, 25, and then 75. Notice... When you look at the extremes, you see the actual color that it adds more of. So that's 75% more green, 75% more cyan, 75% magenta, 75% yellow, 75% blue, 75% darker, and 75% lighter. So what you want to do is actually migrate to the color you're looking for. So if you see something close to what you want, let's say up here, you click on it. Then your color palette will have variations of that color with either more red or green or blue or yellow. Now, I usually just come in here and find where I want to redden it up a little bit. Just click on it. Click it again and see maybe one more click. Adds quite a bit more red. So when I set this color, we've redden it up for maybe a nice cherry uh, stain of some sort. And then when I close, I have that color. Now, let's say I want to change the countertop base color. Well, we go to Change, go to Set Colors. It's using Group 1 countertop. Once again, if I want to get something that's closer, and maybe that's the color I like, I click on the color itself. It says Group 1 countertop here. And let's say it's just a little darker than that. A couple clicks, that's 5, 10, 15% darker. Set it, and we've got this color. And close. Change our view. Now, when I go to 3D, now all that happens in the program is that there can be cases where it's using this color and adding a wood grain to it, merging the two. Or it could be replacing it with an actual laminate color, in this case it is. So if we go to Options, and then we go to Set Textures, you'll notice Group 1 Cabinet happens to be using Cherry. And that's the stain, or the stain color right here, but that's the actual wood grain, it's, it's merging. It says blend color with texture, right? Now, if I want to make that more, let's say, knotty pine, okay, we click on knotty pine, K pine, set it. And I could come to countertop. Notice the countertop's using a Wilson art. Happens to be the Verde Pompeii. Well, you could click on one of the many Wilson art laminate colors, or we could come to Formica or Granite, or you could bring in another image yourself. We'll go to Formica, Choose Fog Dust, set it, close. And what you're going to see is that's more of a pine now. It's got knotty pine, and we've changed the countertop. 